Hey guys, this is Mark with Strength Ministries with tonight's encouraging word coming from the book of Matthew chapter 8 verses 23 through 27. And when he was entered into the ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, and so much that the ship was covered with waves, but he was fast asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, Lord, save us, or we will surely perish. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the seas, and there was a great calm. In verse 27, But the men marveled at him, saying, What manner of man is this? And even the winds and the seas obey him. Now, friends, I know everybody, nine times out of ten, has heard that story at least once or twice in their lifetime, if not many, many more. But see, the great thing about God's knowledge and his ultimate wisdom is that every time there's a story in the Bible, it can reflect back to a situation that we're facing in our lives and how we could use this glorious thing called the Word of God to go and to handle the situations that we do face in our everyday lives. What I mean by that is this, okay? For example, this beautiful story found in Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 through 27. It says that the seas were, were, were just blowing all over this ship. The winds were going crazy and everybody was freaking out. What do I do? Jesus awoke and said, how about for just once you be fearless and be faithful. Instead, nine times out of 10, we as his children, when we face a similar situation or when we face a trial or a tribulation in our life, we come to it as faithless and fearful. But what Jesus is saying, oh, praise the Lord. That's a message right there, friends. He's saying be fearless, but be faithful. Don't put hope and faith in yourself. Absolutely not. Put hope and faith in the one that told the seas and told the winds to calm it down and immediately in Jesus' name it did so. I serve a man. I serve a God that can tell the storms in my life and in yours right now in Jesus' name. I serve a man that can tell your storms to calm down, to cease and desist and immediately they will. That's how my God works. See, I can look at this Bible and go, well, it's just a book that, that has old stories in it. No, 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 no. It's a survival guide with how to survive everyday life. Did they have technology and stuff back then? No. No, but they had a God that created the very world who said, hey, I know what you're going to do later on in life. 2,000 years down the road, you're going to still need this Bible right here. Praise the Lord. You're going to face things. You're going to, you're going to come to a spot in your life to where you can't handle the situation you're going through. And instead of being fearful, you're going to be fearless. Instead of being faithless, you're going to be faithful in the one that can calm the seas and calm the storms in your life. I'm reminded of the story of the footprints in the sand in closing. Friends, you know it, at least I hope you do. If you don't, look it up. Google it. It is definitely worth a Google. But I'm reminded of the footprints in the sand. And friends, if you haven't ever heard of the footprints in the sand, Google it. It's a tearjerker. But long story short, and I'll try to make this as sweet as possible, a man could look back on his life after he had passed away and he's seen footprints in the sand, and he's seen two sets of footprints. One was his footprints, and the other was the Father, was Jesus Christ, okay? And he could see the trials in his life, and he could see the good times and the bad times in his life. And he's seen in the good times there were two sets of footprints, but in the bad times, in the rough times in his life, he said that there was only one set of footprints. And he got hurt, he got irritated, and he said, God, why? Wait a dang second. Now, you were supposed to be there for me in those times of my life. When, when, when life was hard, when I had bills to pay, when I needed your love and your grace and your mercy, you weren't there for me. And he just got mad. He got so mad at God and he's so frustrated. He was so hurt. He said, God, you weren't there for me. Where were you when I needed you? 
God stopped him and he said, son, it was in those hard times in your life when you only seen that one set of footprints, it was in those moments in your life that I was carrying you. Mm. Peace be still is what the Father spoke to this storm. And now I believe the Father is wanting to speak that into your life. Peace be still in Jesus' name. God bless you, friends. Thanks for listening. I will, Lord willing, hopefully be able to talk to you guys later on tonight with Ezekiel chapter one. If I don't get back with you tonight, it's because I'm spending time with the family, which is also very important for us here. Um, but yeah, so I, I plan on getting back with you about Ezekiel chapter one later on, uh, either tonight or possibly tomorrow, sometime uh, tomorrow afternoon. But God bless you, friends. I love you so much. Again, remember, peace be still and always in the Father's will, never in his way. God bless you, friends. Thanks for listening.